This afternoon, Vermont Governor Phil Scott vetoed the legislature's ban on flavored tobacco. That ban would include f flavored vapes, nicotine pouches, menthol cigarettes, and all other forms of flavored tobacco and nicotine products. The governor says he felt that this bill was hypocritical and inconsistent with other things that the state has legalized lately, like marijuana, and how the state markets flavored alcohol, too. He also feels adults should have the freedom to choose what they want to do, adding he wants to see the attorney general and others double down on online and underage sales. I have found that people lose faith in government when policies have these types of inconsistencies because they contradict common sense. Furthermore, from a purely practical point of view, these products will continue to be widely available just across the river in New Hampshire. In response to the veto, the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids said this veto gives the tobacco industry free reign to continue its predatory targeting of kids, black Americans, LGBTQ+, and other communities with flavored products. The Northeast Wholesalers Association, who supports the veto, says Governor Scott, quote, recognized that the law already protects young people by prohibiting sales to anyone under 21 that adults have rights and freedoms that must be respected, and that prohibition, quite simply, will not work. The timeline for a veto override is unclear.